My name is Rodney Gilbert. I am the executive director of Yendor Productions, Yendor Arts. Uh, we are a boutique arts organization housed here in the city of Newark that focuses on visual and performing arts. Uh, I'm born and bred here and started the company based on my experience as a Newark resident and as an artist. Uh, this evening, I chose as a topic to have a conversation to talk about creating arts programming and art events that would help the city as it continues its revitalization and its plan and its urban landscape and making sure that there were some performing arts here. My background is primarily as a performing artist. I, um, I have over, under my company, over 50 pieces of public art that come in the form of murals throughout the city in the last eight years. Uh, but I started my career as an artist as an actor in the performing arts. Uh, I'm very fortunate to still have uh, the opportunity to teach theater and opportunity to um, direct plays. I don't act as much. So the balance between that and the public art that I get to create and that I've been able to um, help to establish through Yinder all over the city. I'm looking for some equity in the midst of that. I know in a city that is growing, we need performing arts. If we are gonna be a city that is diverse and that is well-rounded, you can't just have visual arts. And I'll say that because I kind of have a, a, a real background around the visual arts because we have the North Museum, we have a, a zillion small galleries, we have um, a pharaoh, we, we're just full and rich when it comes to the visual arts. And we have over 50 murals in the city of Newark. But when it comes to performing arts, you have, we have a, a, a house that, which is NJ Pack, that's a touring house. Shows tour there. It is not an established theater here in the city of Newark. It's not an established um, dance company. So we're working towards that. That's one of the missions for Yendor Production, to serve the underserved artists, to serve um, the underserved, uh, and I've been very, very fortunate to be able to do that. Let me make sure I, I stay on track. Uh, one of the things that I'll say, North has been wonderful to me. Being born here, being raised here, and having the opportunity to have TUI, which was a theater company at Symphony Hall when I was a kid. So I got to see Esther Rolls, um, Antonio Fargus. These were all TV celebrities to me because I grew up with good times and anything that was of color or that had black people on it definitely attracted me so you did because you didn't see us that often on television and that they would be here in Newark performing right here at Symphony Hall actually changed a big portion of my life and um, helped to set me on my journey that and seeing Amir Baraka and being amazed that he lived here uh, he came to our school to do a presentation and uh, they kept saying he's from Newark and I didn't know what he was saying in his poetry. It had a refrain that was going on and on and I just kept going, he's from Newark? Because at the time when I was a child and I was growing up, most of the stuff I heard about my city dealt with the, uh, what we have the anniversary of, which is the rebellion. A lot of what came out of the Central War where I grew up was talking about the rebellion, how everyone had flight, and, you know, we didn't have the resources that we needed nor that we deserved. And I'm saying that in an eloquent way. They used to say other things, you know. Um, but the piece back around arts, um, which I define as an aesthetic that beautifies, uh, beauty does not always come easy. Beauty is not free. It's like a teenager, you know, you're, you're attractive as your baby to your parents. When you become a teenager, you get pimples, your pants are too tight as you start to grow. Um, art is subjective. You know, one man's floor is another man's ceiling. I see pieces and I go, that is a fantastic piece. And other people go, I hate that. Especially with the murals. There are people who love specific murals and there are certain people who hate those exact murals. Um, it's based on taste and it's based on your desire. The arts here, I'll continue, help to shape my life and guide me through direction. 
Yendor has created a major portion of his programs based on the way that I was raised and the arts education programs that I was engaged in as a kid, which uh, I'm proud to say I'm on the executive team of the Newark Arts Education Roundtable, and we're working, Michelle, bring that to me. We are working extremely hard to make sure that each kid in Newark has the opportunity to engage in arts. Arts education is very important, especially in the climate that we have currently at this time. Uh, all kids don't learn the same. You know, um, I was not a, a great athlete. I just wasn't. Uh, and I was smart, but I wasn't like scientific brainiac. So you kind of fall into categories, my experience with children. Either you're a great athlete when you're in high school or middle school, or you're extremely smart and you're an honor roll, roll, roll student, or you kind of get lost, or you're an artist. Um, I continually, with my colleagues, we fight to make sure that there's equity in schools, that we don't only just promote um, sports, that we promote arts. There are ways for children to learn through the arts. Presently, Yendor has a higher ed program with um, Drew University, where I also teach in North Public Schools. That's a 10-month program. We presently have children, well, students who are up there right now who receive four college credits. They live on campus. They engage in a theater program on a regular basis. Yendor also has Mural Ed, which is a, a visual arts program that we run during the summer where the kids get their Newark Works checks, just like the other kids who are doing performing arts. Um, and it's based around visual arts and murals. Malcolm will talk a little bit about that. Um, but one of the things that we're most proud of and that I'm most proud of is that um, it's been almost a year and I started a theater company here. So I need to put my money where my mouth is uh, to, help their, to help us to continue on the journey of performing arts. I partnered with years with NJ Pack to create and to present Stage Exchange. Now it's kind of created and morphed itself into something that it needed to be. Uh, so I needed to know how could I continue the journey of performing arts, which is theater I have my background in. Uh, so we decided to start a theater company. Uh, some of my students from Drew University who are graduates, where I've been teaching for over 15 years, um, they want to work. And in order for you to work as an actor, one of the things is you need to know how to create your own works or have great playwrights uh, to support you in those endeavors. Uh, we've been very, very fortunate in this year. We worked with Crossroads Theater. We worked with Pia Wilson. We worked with um, Chisa Hutchison, who just had a piece open off Broadway. Uh, and we're gonna have, I guess, our, our new debut uh, performing in one of Pia's plays called Down Neck, which is about the Ironbound section and the riots. Uh, and it kind of has a timeline, but we'll perform that down on the waterfront August 19th at the Newark Riverfront uh, waterfront. So I know I got to share the time because I brought my other people with me. I'll take a few more minutes. Uh, I know. I wouldn't exist without art. I've been very, very fortunate to find my identity and be able to continue to find my inner self based on the art that I have. You know, if, as, as if you haven't noticed, I'm a little artistic. Um, and I've been allowed to have a platform which has been this city throughout the years and presently as, as we continue to grow to be able to be who I am and express myself through my art. My hope and my desire is to make sure that I continue to share that with the community. And the community includes, for me, all five wards. And not just downtown. You know, I love downtown. This is my downtown. I live in Lincoln Park. I grew up in Lincoln Park. But it is about access. I know it is about access. I am so proud to have these murals under um, the Honorable Mayor Roz Baraka under his leadership. I mean, I've worked, this is the second um, administration that I've been able to work under, but to work under a city and its government that believes in art and that promotes art and that promotes its community 
all of its communities and is inclusive is a dream. It's a dream. That doesn't normally happen, but it is something that is going to take all, all of the artists, it's going to take all of the residents to make sure that we stay inclusive and that we carry that dream on. So any little brown boy or brown girl just like me who could go, well, who would have thought that I would have my own company, that I would oversee a mural program for the city, that I would be directing plays all over, be a clinical professor at Drew University, and I'm from Spruce Street. Who would have thought? I would have thought because the city raised me to be that and to become that. It is my my hope that I can continue to extend that to other children and to other people in the community. I thank you. Um, I'll see you at the next mural unveiling. I'll see you August 19th down on the riverfront for Down Neck. Um, I'll see you here on Mondays. You know, thank Military Park as it grows. Um, for being inclusive and anybody who's not inclusive stand up and do the real fight we are in the 50th anniversary of the rebellion there's so much more that has to be done right. so much has been done but it really it continues it continues and extends itself through each and every one of us and that includes you i thank you guys so much for giving me your time and at this